local group is planning on building a tiny home community near Barton and Sherman and Hamilton to house some of the city's homeless population. As Adam Magazine explains, the plan is to provide tiny cabins under 100 square feet in size, but some neighbors are upset about the locale. So this is what the interior of one of the tiny homes here looks like. Ten tiny cabins like this one, built at the corner of Barton and Earl in Hamilton to get some of the estimated 1,600 homeless people in the city off the street. There are far too many people in Hamilton who are living in alleyways and, and alcoves or, or in makeshift tent encampments, and, and this certainly provides a safer option for people. A group called Hamilton Alliance for Tiny Shelters, or HATS, is looking to build a temporary tiny cabin community on this vacant lot for the next two winters. They already have the green light from the landowner and are now just trying to raise enough money. The group wants to build 10 tiny cabins just like this one, all under 106 square feet, complete with microwave, fridge, heating, and bedding. It goes for around $5,000. We'll also have a kitchen facility on, on a trailer and we'll have washroom and uh, showers as well. The group is holding two information sessions at Tim Hortons Field today. We asked residents on Earl Street how they feel about the idea and the reaction was mixed. Because there's a lot of hookers over there, there's a lot of, um, I guess, undesirable people that come around when uh, those kinds of people are around and I'm just not happy with that. I've lived here for 33 years and uh, I don't think I'd like that at all. But I do think it's a good idea considering it's basically happening anyway. And I mean, at, at this point, I think you can probably see that there's people living there um, fairly frequently and there's a lot of garbage there. So if there was a setup where there was an ability for people to live in a space with some dignity and have some trash, you know, containers and actually have someone pick up that trash, I think, you know, that would be a, actually a really good thing. Tony D'Amato Stortz was the superintendent at a similar site in Kitchener and says it's been a success in that city. When people are stabilized in these tiny homes, the issues around homelessness uh, often decrease because loitering, um, those kinds of public, uh, public nuisance problems of homelessness, they go away if someone has a home and that's really what this project is trying to offer is a home. Hats officials say the residents of this tiny community will be chosen by various organizations that work with the homeless. Adam Atkinson, CHCH News, Hamilton.